Hey everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add custom tokens to your MetaMask. Now, MetaMask by default supports ERC20 type tokens and when you install MetaMask on your browser and someone sends you basic attention token or USDC or Psy or DAI, it's automatically going to show up in your wallet. However, there's some situations in which you may receive a token to your wallet, it, it's in your wallet, but for whatever reason, MetaMask is not showing this. So when they went from Psy to Dai for those first couple hours, there was no default support for the new Dai. So I had to go in and manually add that Dai. The same thing is true. If we look here on Fulcrum, you can see that I am lending USDC coin and I should have the iUSDC token in my wallet. However, we see that this is not showing up. We have CDI and CUSDC from Compound, but we do not have support for Fulcrum's token. So it's still there in my wallet. I just can't see it. So today I'm going to show you how to add this. Uh, specifically I USDC but this would work for any other uh, token that you're trying to get into MetaMask so let's start off and before I do start this I want to say that this was influenced by Akashi Nakamoto who showed on Publish OX how to add Tether so he showed you how to add Tether today we're going to be adding I USDC the process is very similar and you can really use the same steps for any ERC 20 token that you want to add so what we want to do is we want to go to etherscan and they have a place where it says search by address transaction hash block token whatever so what you want to do is you want to start typing the name of the coin that you want to add so when die first launched we would go to DAI and it would say, okay, there's the DAI stablecoin or there's Fulcrum's iDAI token, but we don't want iDAI. What we want is iUSDC. And we will see that Fulcrum's USDC i token comes up. We can go ahead and click on that. And what we see here is that it is owned by Fulcrum, the BZX network. We have the contract, the the decimals, and what we're going to do is we're going to add that into our MetaMask. So Let's open up MetaMask and we want to scroll, open the menu, scroll down to add token and we can try to add it directly through here. And we see that we can't add it directly from here. So what we're going to do is custom token and it's going to ask us for the contract address. So we're simply going to go back here. We're going to copy this into the contract address the token symbol it already picks that up as IUSDC with six decimals of precision we're going to click next and we're going to add token now what we're going to see when we go back to our MetaMask wallet we're going to see that we now have that IUSDC coin sitting in our wallet now we don't get the official logo, we don't get the official symbol, but at least we have it there in our wallet. So the, the funds, the money, the token has been there the whole time in your wallet. It's always been there. This is just giving you that peace of mind, a little bit of a graphic representation to show you that it is there in your wallet. And I do think this is important because it makes it clear that when you lend through decentralized finance, you're not depositing funds into their custodial account. You're actually getting back in your wallet an I token or a C token or whatever interest earning token the specific protocol uses. That's actually in your wallet. So it is important to have that differentiation that your funds aren't just locked up in a site somewhere. You're actually given back an IDAI or an IUSDC token. And you could actually trade this IUSDC or this I token on an exchange without actually ever having to go back to Fulcrum. So as I said, today we're showing you how to use iDAI, but you could or IUSDC, but you could really use this for any other token that you wanted to add in MetaMask. I hope you all found the video useful, and if you have any questions, be sure to let me know and I'll try to help you out. See you next time.